Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we will understand how to use conditional formatting. So for the reference file, we will use the sbin master file. In this case, the specific conditional formatting we want is in the close price column E and whenever the close price of today is greater than close price of yesterday, that is the change is positive. We want the cells to be highlighted in green and on the other hand when the change in price is negative i.e. today's close price is less than yesterday's close price we want the cell to be highlighted in red. So what we do first of all is we select the data from column E. Once the data across column E is selected we click on the conditional formatting option and then we click on new rule and specifically we go to the use a formula option now in the box for the rule formula we put the condition as we select cell e3 put the greater than sign and then we select cell e2 now if you carefully observe by default excel makes the formula frozen by prefixing and suffixing the E in cell E2 and E3 with the dollar sign. If we do that, what happens is this condition gets frozen to cell E2 and E3 only. We want this condition to be checked across the entire column. So we manually have to remove the dollar sign so that the rule is applied throughout the column. And then on the right hand side there is a button called format we go there we select the fill color and choose the green option so this is for the positive change we have to repeat this entire exercise for negative change as well so we click on new rule because we are looking for negative change the formula this time becomes e3 less than e2 again by default those dollar signs are there prefixed and suffixed with e we remove those dollar signs so that the rule is applied throughout the column and then we click on the format option and select the red color and then we hit apply so you can see there are some cells that are highlighted in red and there are some cells that are highlighted in green so let us say we want to double check whether everything is okay or no we will use the if function and specify the condition if e3 minus e2 greater than 0 positive else negative and then you know we copy this double check formula across the entire column we use the data filter and we can see for all values in column F where the value is positive you can see the close price is highlighted in green and for all column values in F negative we can see that the cell color in column E is red which means our conditional formatting is working fine. I would encourage you to try some more permutations and combinations and get yourself familiarized with the rules. The key thing always to remember is by default when you put the conditional formula Excel tends to prefix and suffix cell values with the dollar sign. When we want the rule to be applicable across the entire column, we have to manually remove that dollar sign. Thank you.